There are millionaires sitting in this gathering here. Do you know that? According to one study, before you came to this world, for instance, if in the spiritual world, you were given an option to write down all the things that you want in life, to make a list of things that you want. Do you know 80% of your desires, 80% of the things that you desire in life, you already have them. You already have them. 20% and less than 20% of the things that you don't have. My brother said to me, how is that possible? I don't accept that. I said, why? He said, look, I just mentioned three things that I desire in my life. Three things. And that's a lot more than the 80% that you think supposedly that I have. I said, what are they? He said, I want to become such a famous person that everyone knows me in the world. That's one. What's the second point? He said, I want a palace in every country. That's two. Third, he said, I want to be so powerful that every prime minister obeys me. He said, these are the three. President or prime minister obeys me. They listen to whatever I say. He said, you are trying to say that I've already got 80% of the things that I would have desired. More than 80%. And the things that I don't have are less than 20%. He said, this is what I don't have. Is this more than the 80% that I have? I said, yes. He said, how is that possible? I don't have anything. I said, if you were deprived of the eyesight that you have, the speech and the hearing ability, these three, only these three are taken away from you. And then someone gives you the option, meaning you don't have your eyesight, you don't have your tongue, you don't have your ears, and you're famous all over the world. You have a mansion, a palace in every country, and every prime minister obeys you. You are powerful, you are wealthy, you have name and fame, but you have no eyes. You can't even see your children. You can't even see your family. You can't talk to them. Your little child speaks to you, but you can't hear him. I said, if someone then gives you the option that give me all the wealth, name, fame, power, and I'll give you your eyesight. I'll give you your speech, your ears. Would you do that? Would you or you wouldn't? You would say, what's the point of having when I cannot even hear my fame? People are talking about me, but I can't even hear it. I can't even discuss my fame with people. I can't even see my mansions, my palaces, my houses, my cars. I can't even see them. What's the point of having all of that? I said, let alone having it for the entire life of yours. Even if someone gives you an option for five minutes every day, your eyesight will be restored. You will still be willing to sell all your name, fame, wealth and everything for the five minutes of your eyesight. Every day you would yearn for the morning time to come so you can see your children for five minutes. I said, do you know that? You already have that wealth of your eyes. But the problem is you're focusing on what you don't have rather than focusing on what you have. You are searching for happiness in the things that you don't have rather than searching for happiness in the things that you have. You have the wealth of your eyes. And human mind is a very powerful organ. Human mind. You all are intelligent people. You have the brain. But the problem is most people leave this world without even using their brain. They leave this world without even going through the process of self-actualization. Without even knowing why Allah made me. This is why Imam Malik Rahimahullah said. Imam Malik Rahimahullah said there are two births of every human. One birth is when he was born in this world. The second birth of every human is the day he discovers his talent. The day he knows why God created me. You know, do you know why Allah made you? Are you a physician? Are you a businessman? Are you an orator? Are you a North Khan? Many people in this world, Allah created them with a talent. They haven't even discovered the talent. People are failures in their life. They're not failures because Allah hasn't blessed them with talent. Everyone has talent. The problem is we are working in someone else's field. Allah's made you a footballer and you want to become a cricketer. Will you be successful? No. Allah's made you a doctor and you become a taxi driver. Allah's made you a businessman but you're trying to become a doctor. Why? My parents want me to become a doctor. So if you want success in life, it's important for all of us to discover our talent. And according to our talents, set your goals in your life. Utilize the talent that is given to you by Allah Jalla wa Allah. And thank Allah Jalla wa Allah for what Allah has blessed you with.